let me draw a simple graph of a function. For instance, if I have a function y equals to x, x is my function. Whether you write y equals to x or f of x equals to x, both are correct. Because y means f of x, x is my function here. How to draw the graph of this function? The best way to draw the graph of any function is to choose some random values for the dependent variable of that function. The dependent variable here is x y equals to x, x is my function. Let me put a table here, at one side I have x, on the other side I have y. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna choose some random values for the x to get the value of y. For instance, if I put x equals to zero here, my y will be zero as well. And my point on the x, y coordinate will be here, which is origin. At this stage, x equals to zero and y equals to zero. And then when I choose some random values which are less than zero, like for instance negative one for x, my y will be also negative one because y equals to x. So if x equals to negative one, y will also be negative one. And the next coordinate point will be here. At this stage, x equals to negative one and y equals to negative one as well. And then when I put x equals to negative two, my y will be negative two as well. And the third point will be here. Uh, where x equals to negative 2 and y equals to negative 2. By putting negative 3 for the x, my y will be negative 3 as well. The fourth point will be here. On x I have negative 3 and on y axis I have negative 3. But what if I go at both 0, like for instance if I put x equals to 1, my y will be 1 as well and the point will be here. At this stage I have 1 on x axis and 1 on y axis. And then by putting x equals to 2, my y will be 2 as well. The next point will be here. And then by putting x equals to 3, my y will be here as well. And the coordinate point will be here. Let me repeat it again. What I did here, I want a graph of x. So for that reason, what I did, I'm going to put some random value for the x to get the value of y. At one side I have x and the other side I have y. I will put the random values for the x. First I choose x equals to 0, my y become also 0. I got the point at origin. At this stage, x equals to 0, y equals to 0 as well. And then when I choose negative 1 for the x, my y was also negative 1. So the point was here. Along x axis I have negative 1 because when you go on the left side, the value of the x is in negative. And when you go on the right side, the, the value of the x is in positive. So I'm gonna go in the left direction, therefore, I will take one step at one point, negative 1. And negative 1 along y axis as well. And when I go downward, I will go in negative direction for the y. So at this stage, I have negative 1 along y axis, and negative 1 along x axis. Well, these are my points, negative 1 comma negative 1. These are the coordinate points. And then when I put x equals to negative 2, my y was also negative 2. The point was here at this stage. X axis is also negative 2 because 1, 2. So negative 2 here. And Y is also negative 2. 1, 2. Y is also negative 2. So negative 2 comma negative 2 are the coordinate points at this stage. And then when I put X equals to negative 3, my Y was also negative 3. The point was here. Along X axis it is a negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Along y axis, it is also a negative 3. 1, 2, 3. When I substitute x equals to 1, my y was also 1. The point was here. At this stage, x equals to 1 because we are going in positive direction. So the x values will be in positive 1. And y is also 1. So at this stage, x equals to positive 1 and y is also positive 1. By substituting x equals to 2, y is also 2. So the point is here. Along x axis it is on positive 2, 1, 2. And along y axis it is also on positive 2, 1, 2. And then by putting x equals to 3, my y is also 3. And I got the point here. Along x axis it is positive 3, 1, 2, 3. Along y axis it is also positive 3, 1, 2, 3. So at this stage I have coordinate points 3 comma 3. That's what I got by putting some random values for the x. The next stage is to join all those points with each other. When I join these points, I will get a clear graph. 
this is my graph and this graph is for x the graph of function x is this straight line the more you put random values for the x the longer you're gonna get the graph it's up to you this is the basic and fundamental way to draw the graph of any function my next function is x square y equals to x square to draw the graph of x square I will follow exactly the same way as I did for the previous example uh, let me put a table here at one side I have x and another side I have y if I choose some random values for the x I will get y let me put x equals to 0 so 0 to the square will be 0 and therefore my y will be 0 as well so the coordinate point will be here at the origin at this stage I have 0 along x axis and 0 along y axis and then when I put x equals to negative 1 negative 1 to the square is positive 1 so my y will be positive 1 and the coordinate points are here at this stage I have negative 1 along x axis and positive 1 along y axis and then by putting negative 2 for the x negative 2 to the square is positive 4 so my y is 4 and the coordinate points are here at this stage I have negative 2 along x axis and positive 4 along y axis and then by putting negative 3 for x negative 3 to the square is positive 9 so my y is 9 and the coordinate points are here at this stage I have negative 3 along x axis and positive 9 along y axis but if I go above 0 like x equals to positive 1 1 to the square is 1 so y is also 1 and the point will be here at this stage I have positive 1 along x axis and positive 1 along y axis and then to put x equals to 2 2 to the square is 4 so y is 4 my coordinate point will be here uh, which has positive 2 along x axis and positive 4 along y axis and then by putting x equals to 3 3 to the square is 9 so y is 9 the coordinate points will be here at this stage I have positive 3 along x axis and positive 9 along y axis these are the coordinate points along x axis and y axis I got these points by choosing some random values for the x to get the value of y as well when I join all those points with each other I will see a clear parabola here is the graph for x square x square is a quadratic equation the graph of x square is a parabola remember the graph of any quadratic equation will give you a parabola x square is a quadratic equation because remember I have ax square and then bx plus c b is 0 c is 0 and therefore I have only x square so x square is a quadratic equation its graph is a parabola if I have a function y equals to x square plus x plus 1 let me draw the graph of this function this is my table here is x at the right side I have y again I will put some random values for the x when I put x equals to 0 uh, 0 to the square is 0 plus 0 plus 1 so the value of y will be 1 and the point will be here at this stage I have 0 along x axis and 1 along y axis and then by putting 1 for x 1 square is 1 plus 1 plus 1 y is 3 here so the second so the second coordinate points location will be here in x y plane at this point I have 1 along x axis and 3 along y axis and then when I substitute x equals to 2 2 to the square is 4 plus 2 plus 1 so the y value will be 7 and the third location will be here in x y plane so at this stage I have 2 along x axis and positive 7 along y axis let me join all those points it's a parabolic graph because remember x squared plus x plus 1 is a quadratic equation as I told you that whenever you draw the graph of any quadratic equation you will get some sort of parabolic graph so it's a kind of half parabolic shape that's how you can draw the graph of any function if I have another function y equals to x cubed plus x squared plus x uh, let me draw the graph of this function my table is here at left side I have x and on the right side I have y again I'm gonna show some random values for the x for instance if I put x equals to 0 
0 plus 0 plus 0 my y will be 0 as well if I will got my first point at origin uh, where x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 as well and then by putting x equals to negative 1 my y will be also negative 1 because negative 1 to the cube is negative 1 and negative 1 to the square is positive 1 so negative 1 plus positive 1 is 0 plus negative 1 will be negative 1 for y by putting x equals to negative 1 my final value will be negative 1 for the y therefore my second location in xy plane will be here where at this stage I have negative 1 along x axis and negative 1 along y axis and finally when I put x equals to negative 2 my y will be negative 6 so my third point will be here at this stage I have negative 2 along x axis and negative 6 along y axis these are my coordinate points location in xy plane if I join all those points with each other I'm gonna get some parabolic shape again it's a kind of half parabolic shape which I got from x cubed plus x squared plus x remember it is not necessary to choose only the first initial values you can choose any values you can go more than negative 2 it's up to you the more you go ahead the longer you're gonna get the graph it is just for the basic understanding so this is the best and the fundamental way to draw the graph of any function